Well, today we'll be going over the uh, topic of binary search. And so binary search is a very important topic in um, both competitive programming, so like Usico, but also other applications. And yeah, I, I guess it's um, especially important in Silver, but it's also very relevant in other topics. So yeah, let's just go over that topic today. So I guess say, uh, let's just say we have like a list of numbers and we want to find, uh, let's say we want to find the index of, let's say the integer six. And so I guess one way we can do this is, uh, actually, let me not let's do 11. One way we can approach this is simply just like iterating through this array. Um, so we can do like, uh, say n is the length of the array. Uh, something like this, where right, we just loop through the numbers, um, uh, like iterate through the elements in the array, and then once we uh, reach the number we're looking for, so 11, then we, we can return that index. Uh, but let's just say, I mean, I guess this is, um, uh, this works perfectly fine when you have a small number of elements, uh, and your like constraints are, I guess, manageable, but let's say, um, the size of the array was 10 to the ninth, then you could be potentially running um, through all 10 to the ninth, so all 1 billion elements in the array, and that can be really time consuming. And in Usico, that runs over the time limit. So how can we, I guess, find an element in um, an array faster than um, the time complexity O of n? So. Um, yeah, so we're looking for something faster than O of n or just iterating through the entire array. Um, so yeah, that's where binary search comes in. And uh, the conditions for binary search are, it's just, uh, it has to be sorted. And yeah, once it's sorted, then it's, I guess there's nothing really else and you can just perform the binary search. So how does binary search work? So let's say we have this array, we're looking for element 11. Um, instead of looking, uh, just iterating through, I guess, why don't we try, why don't we choose like a random spot in the array and then check if the number we're looking for, 11, the target number, t, is greater than or less than. Because let's say we choose position uh, element at index. At index 4. And then if we check at the element at index 4, and let's say it's less than, um, or sorry, in this case, it would be greater than. So let's just say it's greater than the element at index four, then we basically shrink the range we have to look for um, in half. Um, and then now we only have to check from six and greater, and we can just ignore all of this. So um, I guess when we check, we can also check if it's equal to six and clearly it's not. So we can also ignore um, six. And so now we only have three elements left, and then we can, let's just say we take the middle element again. Um, and since this element is 11, we just found the number we're looking for in two iterations. 
And so, yeah. Um, actually, one thing I'd like to point out is that six isn't the middle in terms of like how the computer views it. Um, because uh, it would actually be five, but I just use six for the uh, purposes of the example. Yeah, so this is basically the process of binary search. It's, it's fairly simple. It's like if you're trying to, let's say you're playing a number guessing game and you're trying to figure out what number the person is thinking about and the fewest number of questions. Um, yeah, it's basically similar to that where you can basically narrow down the range the element can exist in. So, um, yeah. So basically the overall idea is if you have an array, it has to be sorted. And so we have it like this, then the steps are, we find the middle element. Um, actually, let me just Label the indices. I might be actually using it to just. So the process involves us choosing a point in the array, checking if the element we're looking for is greater than, equal to, or less than that point. And then we just narrow down the a range we have to search for um, by that much. So um, if we think about it, let's say we choose index four as a point, as a point we're gonna look for, like the reference point, um, then it's gonna work fine, but it's not really efficient. So if the number we're looking for is two, then um, I guess, yeah, we just cut it down by this much. So in that case, we're lucky. But um, in the case that it's a number greater than uh, the element and index four, then we have to search all of this. And so it's not really efficient. So the way we can guarantee efficiency is by splitting it in half every single time. Um, so in this case, oh, I actually did not do zero indexing. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a problem. So let me just first move this over. Right. Yeah, so the length of our array is 12. So how can we find the middle point? It's just 12 over 2. And that's going to give us 6. So actually, my guess was wrong. So we can check the element at index six, which is nine. And let's say we're looking for element 13, or sorry, the integer 13. And nine is less than 13. So we're guaranteed that it's not gonna be below the index six. So we can just like effectively ignore all of this, including nine, because it's less than. So now we have just this. And so what is the length of um, the array we have left? Well, we have six elements left. We can just do six over three, or sorry, over two. And so now we have three elements, or sorry, what I'm saying. The uh, midpoint is three. And we can um, take nine plus three, which would be the uh, sorry, not say ten plus three. Six plus three, which would be the element at index nine. We can check is fifteen the element at index nine greater than or equal to thirteen. So fifteen is greater than thirteen. So now we can ignore all this, and we're just left with these two, and then we repeat the process. Um, yeah. So that's basically binary search. Um, to sum it up, you basically uh, find midpoint by taking the uh, and then check if
Yeah, so I'll explain a little bit more about the left and right part in the next video, but yeah, this is just basically the general, uh, I guess, idea of binary search. And yeah, so thank you for watching.